courses delivery. Uh, it's one of the method of uh, assisted delivery. We use forceps as well as the vacuum extractor uh, in cases where the second stage of labor is prolonged. How long we take it? If uh, the patient is uh, a multi gravida, we usually wait for one hour. After that, we have to assess the delivery. If the patient is a primary gravida, so two hours is sufficient for that. If the patient is under epidural or you know, spinal anesthesia, for that, uh, you can wait up to three hours. The method of applying forcep for that, mm, uh, that would come later, but before that we need some prerequisites. Uh, well, there should be no CPD, the head should be engaged, we could, could see that. Uh, usually we apply the Wrigley forceps in our hospital, and the other forceps are too long, which are, they are not a bad patient would usually, usually go for C-section. The head should be on plus two station or below. Uh, because the Wrigley forces they are small and uh, they would work only when the head is below or at plus two station. So, what is the uh, method of uh, applying forceps? Uh, forceps are first of all assembled in front of the patient. You bring the two forceps. The method of assembling the forceps is very easy. You see this dip uh, in this part. This one is, you know, if I hold it like this, it goes up. But this surface, it goes down. So, whenever you are assembling forceps, you have to keep them in such a way that this dip, it should be upwards. Like this. Then, it's not that difficult to uh, lock them. Now, I have got these in different hands. I don't know uh, how to cross, I, but I, when, I, when I do it, you will see. Now, if I come like this, this is wrong because you know the lock is up so if I come like this it automatically locks itself now I didn't find out which one was left which one, it, it is automatically telling me now if I open it so you see it is telling me that which one I have to insert on left side and which one I have to insert on all you have to do is keep this above and hold them like this or like this and lock them so this is the lock thing again right? That this thing is coming above. If you see it like this, this is wrong because this curve is coming upward. It should be like this. All right. So, how, uh, what are the parts of forceps? So, it has got this blade, this shank. No, sorry, this handle, this log, and this shank. So, I think these parts are enough to be. Uh, uh, the these are uh, the two curves of the forceps. This one and this one. Uh, sorry. This one and this one. So this one is pelvic, pelvic curve and this one is cephalic curve. Cephalic means head. Okay. So the method to apply it the head would be if you can see that crowning is already happening you will take one forcep and Other now assistant. we see that uh, you can give it to your assistant and keep it like this I have no assistant right now so there is the inguinal ligament uh, which passes between this uh, anterior superior leg spine and the pubis you Hold it in the in the axis of that thing. Like a pen. Like a pen. Just like this. And then you come like this. Again, we do it like a pen. And then like this. Now once it is positioned, you hand it over to your assistant. I don't have any assistant, so I am alright. So, the other forces again, uh, we will hold it like a pen, come like this, again with the inguinal ligament, and yes, like this. Now, here comes the locking uh, part. So, the locking part would be very easy if uh, the head uh, position and the position of your forces is oh, uh, well, no problem with that. So, all you have to do is put, put one finger here, do not lock it at uh, so much that it compresses your head. So when it is locked, it would be in this position. A forceps which is not locked, it needs to be locked for that. You have to 
you have you can change their positions for example if it is like this you can change it like this or like this so that it could be locked but, but keep keep um, in mind that you don't have to apply so much pressure in order to cause damage to the fetal head so when it is locked all you have to do is uh, wait for the maternal contraction if the mater when the maternal contraction comes the baby head comes out you apply little traction with that don't apply any force if there is no maternal contraction I mean absence of maternal contraction is a contraindicated indication for this applying this force you don't apply force when the, uh, when the maternal push is not there so maternal, maternal push comes and you just help with the delivery of the head like this so these are the Wrigley forceps so what are the uh, complications of Wrigley forceps well, it can cause uh, trauma to this part of the scalp as well as again this part the other force other uh, damages could do it to the because it's metal so when you insert it it's definitely going to cause uh, tears in the perineum but if uh, everything is held uh, carefully it may not uh, cause sufficient damage so it could also you know cause uh, the injury of the facial nerve but uh, it may correct itself within 24 to 42 to 48 hours so this is all about forceps again the normal position the dip is up it is going down in both and it is locked in that